Now let's look at the bike that started the 450 class and literally turned it upside down, or should I say inside out, in 2010. With its revolutionary rear slanted engine, the YZ450F forever changed the design and engineering of ultimate performance off-road bikes and also got the attention of the motocross press. To help you know more about this amazing new 2012 YZ450, I've got a guy who knows more about this machine than any living human, Dr. D, Doug Dubuck. Thanks, Tim. So Doug, you've spent more time on this machine than anyone I know. Why don't we get into that new rearward sliding cylinder? Well, Tim, the reason we slammed the cylinder back was for the reciprocating mass. There's a lot of moving parts in the cylinder head, so by getting that more in the center of the bike, it really helps the handling. Plus, that allows us to have a little bit longer intake track, which helps with the performance. And speaking of performance, the revolutionary YZ450F gets even more for 2012. Starting with a revised fuel ignition mapping, which gives the power band a little smoother feel from low to mid RPM. These 450s have plenty of power, so our challenge is to make it nice and smooth and linear from the corner. So we've been able to control that through the new mapping, get a smoother reaction out of the corner, help you get down that next straightaway. The KYB speed sensitive front fork and KYB 50 millimeter piston rear shock both have revised suspension settings for 2012. We've been known since this bike's inception in 2010 for its great suspension. So for 2012, we've improved the front fork, the control under the corner, which helps traction, as well as the bump absorption on the rear shock. Also new for 2012 are black aluminum XL rims, which gives a very aggressive look and proven durability. Plus, the bikes are coming with Dunlop Geomax MX-51 tires, which improve both rear and front end traction. The YZ450F, already revolutionary, unequal performance and handling, now more even amazing for 2012. And the 2012 YZ250F, the bike that started the 250 four-stroke revolution, now with more ways to win.